cat hopes that you are safe and sound. What's way more dangerous than most people think? Driving tired, sleepy, man I've done a full shift driving hundreds of miles getting in and out the car for hours and filling in the reports. The worst one was I had like 2 hours sleep the previous night and at the end of my shift I thought I saw a UFO, I was absolutely convinced. Turns out it was the moon. The dangerous part of drowsy driving is nobody really takes it very seriously, it's not like a cop will test you on breathalyzer or something, so most people will ignore it. It takes a split second to fall asleep while dreaming that you are awake and still driving and end up killing innocent people. It's the same as DUI. Bites from other human beings are actually really dangerous due to infection rates. A friend bit me once. I turn into her every full moon. My mom got drunk and bit my dad. He had to get a tetanus shot. People know that rip currents are dangerous, but don't think about them as a real threat often enough. I'm from Florida. My whole entire life I was taught to swim parallel to shore when stuck in a rip current. They teach it in schools. There are commercials about it. The signs say it. You'd think it would be ingrained. But what does my grown ass do the first time I got sucked into a rip current? Panicked my ass off and almost drowned. Towing a stuck car with a chain. There is a list of people who have died from having the chain come through the back window and kill them. If there's one thing I'll always stress, it's a real tow rope. Endless uses, not that expensive, you'll probably only ever need to buy one, they won't smash your skull in if they break. And put some weight in the middle, a simple jacket will do. That way, in case the rope does snap, shut can still happen, the small weight gives just enough momentum to send the energy down, so it will hit the ground or your legs. Your legs will still shatter, but way better than your ribcage or your face. <laughs> Listening to loud music using earbuds, or really any headphones. Having permanent hearing damage sucks. I'm 40 with the hearing of 70 year old. Tinnitus. Constant ringing in both ears. Certain music can make it worse and drive me absolutely batty. Can't hear people at restaurants and bars. What? 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 Protect your ears. Attempting to change garage door springs without knowing what you're doing can kill you. This is crazy I had no idea. Me being cheap would probably try to do it on my own. Thanks for saving my life. Garage springs are under intense tension and can seriously duck you up if you don't know what you're doing. Always get a pro for garage repair. Same with car springs. I think about this every time I change the strings on my 5 string bass. An 11 gauge guitar string can give you a nasty cut if it snaps, but I feel like a 130 gauge low B string could gash my neck wide open. Thankfully they never break. So far. Never try to change them in your own. Always take them to the base pro shop. Moose. Bigger threat to people up here than bears. Moose were so underrated as a threat for so long that they've become a bit overrated. I've had reddit arguments with people suggesting they are on par with grizzlies. I've been close enough to both animals in the wild to smell them. Grizzlies are a shut ton scarier than a moose. Moose are just a lot more common and people don't take them seriously as a threat, both of which increase the chances of a bad encounter. Moose yearlings are also a lot stupider than bears. Every spring there are a ton of accidents in northern Sweden because of young moose doing stupid shut. Being knocked unconscious. Lots of popular media makes it seem like a minor thing that an average person can shrug off after a short period. In reality, if you are ever knocked out, then you have suffered brain damage. It's possible there might not be any lasting effects, but it's a serious injury and you 100% need to see a doctor if it ever happens to you. Just being knocked in the head in general. People are so cavalier in fights, I think that movies have people being hit with the butt of a gun, a shovel and being okay. I'm not a doctor or nurse, but I'm pretty sure simple bumps and knocks can have potential damage. The human being is fragile as duck. Try not to be unconscious for too long. It's like, super bad for you. Doing nothing for a long period of time. It gets addictive, and it's the hardest thing ever to get back on your feet. Can confirm. Currently sat outside my work on first day back, and damn it was hard to get up at 6 this morning, after doing nothing throughout lockdown. Eating a lot of spinach. Believe it or not people have had kidney failure from 3 spinach smoothies in a day. This is due to the high levels of oxalic acid. Ugh now all night long I'll be wondering if I'm spinach poisoned. Poppy's gonna die soon. Blocking your nose when you sneeze. 
though it's rare. You can damage blood vessels in your eyes and nose, you can rupture your eardrum, and you can even have an aneurysm. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Dad sneeze equals healthy sneeze. A a a a a a a a a a a My husband when he sneezes. A kind of random one, but don't eat uncooked slugs or snails. They can have parasites that will make you paralyzed and eventually kill you. An Australian kid died a couple of years ago from it. An awful way to go. Awful way to escargot. Snarled it. I think I'm safe from this one. Not wearing sunblock. You reminded me of tanning beds I despise then and think they should be illegal. People will go in them completely unprotected and get blasted with UV, all in the name of vanity. It's ridiculous. Living alone. If you get seriously injured or ill at home and you're unable to reach your phone, your chances of survival are much lower than if you have at least one other person in the household. Had an older employee who lived with her son. She didn't turn up for work. Very common to no show slash no call at our workplace, just not for her. I had a weird feeling after she wasn't picking up when I called. Waited a few hours and decided to go knock on her door. No answer but her car was there. I phoned the non-emergency police line and they showed up and broke in. She was found in her bedroom on the floor completely out of it and turns out she had a very bad case of meningitis. She was admitted to the hospital for a month and they told her if she had been found by her son by the time he returned home from work, 4 hours after we found her, she most likely would have been dead. Trust your weird, gut feelings. Anything under tension can be dangerous. Guitar strings hold around 200 pounds of tension. A game of tug of war can put thousands of pounds of tension into a rope. It's even been known to kill people. Here's a list. True story, as a 14 year old I played a game of tug of war with a large number of people and the rope snapped and whipped back and hit me, leaving me with 3 fractures in my hands. 3 surgeries and lots of PT later I'm happy to report no nerve damage, but I'm never playing that game again. When I used to compete on tug of war in Japan for my local community, I had to wear a helmet. It seemed ridiculous until now. Misinformation. Fasa book has entered the chat. Fox News has entered the chat. Reddit has entered the chat. Deep cuts on your fingertips. They are called felons and can infect your bloodstream. Clean them out and if you see a red line traveling up your arm, get yourself to the ER immediately. My neighbor almost died from this when she cut her finger on her violin string. Palm trees. They are so much heavier than they look and their branches can kinda just fall off without warning. Aussie here. Beware a eucalypt on a hot day in the middle of a drought. Eucalypts shed branches when stressed. Usually it's small clusters, but sometimes you'll jump 6 feet to hear a massive crash outside and see a huge mother ducker on the lawn. The amount of times we've almost had one land on our car. So in Australia or even the trees are after your well-being. Hiking in Arizona heat. Grand Canyon 2. You can go down a lot quicker than up. Always, I repeat always bring too much water when hiking. Walking downstairs with your hands in your pockets. Never ever do it, especially not drunk. A fall down even one or two stairs with no hands to catch you can break your neck. I've seen a video of man tripping and falling down four stairs, hitting the top of his head on the wall and dying right there in the stairwell. Newts. Many newts, such as the rough skinned newt, produce a toxin that is 10 times more potent than cyanide. They are only dangerous if you handle them and then don't wash your hands afterwards or if you eat the newt. There have been multiple reports over the years of someone eating a newt as part of a hazing ritual for a college fraternity and then dying. The toxin that some newts produce can kill you inside of 15 minutes because the toxins block the sodium receptors in your nerves you, essentially stopping your brain from communicating with your heart. Scary stuff. TLDR, if you handle a newt wash your hands and never put a newt in your mouth or you will die. A lot of household chemicals. Mix the wrong stuff and it's game over are seriously hurt. Ammonia and bleach is a common one I think. I used far too much ammonia last time I was cleaning and I thought I was going to pass out. Ammonia is not great to inhale. Save it for deep cleaning like the stove top and then leave the house for a few hours. Otherwise you're better off using all-purpose cleaners or white vine gar. Cat bites. Pasturella multocida. Nasty business. 
Gotta clean those bites and scratches for sure. Electricity. People seem to have little understanding or respect for it. Blunt kitchen knives. It may seem obvious, but they're more dangerous than sharp kitchen knives. A falling knife doesn't have a handle. Let it fall and step away. Mosquitoes. My friend slipped in the bathroom whilst trying to catch a mosquito and hit his head hard on corner of the sink. Spent two weeks in a coma after that. I bet the mosquito must felt like a champion.